I'm presenting this work on behalf of my colleague, uh, Florent Dubost, uh, which is titled Automated Detection of Enlarged Perivascular Spaces in Brain MRI. This is our disclosure. Perivascular spaces are spaces between pia major and blood vessels, and when they are enlarged, they show up as hyperintensities in T2-weighted MRI scans. In this study, we are interested in uh, automating detection of perivascular spaces in four brain regions, midbrain, hippocampi, basal ganglia, and centrum semioval. The data set that we used uh, to optimize our methods and evaluate its performance is a Rotterdam scan study. A Rotterdam study is uh, a population-based study with participants aged between 60 and 90 years. The scans in this data set were acquired using 1.5 Tesla scanner, and in 2,200 of those scans acquired from different patients, we had dot annotations of perivascular spaces. On 40 additional scans, we measured uh, the intra-rage agreement. We used uh, 1,200 scans to optimize our methods and 1,000 other scans to evaluate its performance. The first step in our method is to extract the region of interest, which is one of the four brain regions uh, that I mentioned in the beginning of my talk. Uh, then with those extracted regions, uh, we train neural network to predict uh, count of perivascular spaces. Uh, an important detail to mention here is that we do not use location of perivascular spaces in optimization of our network. We only use uh, overall count per region. And that implies uh, that our method can be applied uh, also in circumstances where there are no dot annotations of perivascular spaces, but only overall visual scores of perivascular spaces per region. As soon as our networks are trained, uh, we can apply them to unseen images, and they predict count of perivascular spaces. And in addition to that, we can generate visual explanation for these predicted counts, which we call attention maps. And these maps are essentially heat maps uh, that highlight location of detected perivascular spaces. So here are some examples of these attention maps that our method computes uh, corresponding to different brain regions. Uh, the red circles that you can see on the slide are annotations of our ratio. Uh, the rightmost image shows uh, an attention map corresponding to centrum semioval. And as you can see, as uh, our method identifies uh, much more structures than the ratio has annotated. And in this particular case, uh, most of these additional detections are actual perivascular spaces uh, that the ratio has missed and uh, we observe this situation quite often in our data set. We computed sensitivity and average false positive rate of our method on 1,000 scans, and we have found that uh, the detection performance uh, is quite good. However, it is slightly inferior to the intra rate agreement. However, uh, it must be kept in mind that the intra rate agreement was only computed using 40 images, whereas uh, our method was evaluated on 1,000 images. Uh, in the future, we would like to study associations uh, between potential determinants of perivascular spaces and volumes of perivascular spaces. We would also like to validate our method on other large studies, uh, such as UK Biobank, Framingham study, and so on. Uh, then we would like uh, to have our methods false positives assessed by a second rater uh, to quantify what proportion of them are actually false and what proportion of them are pervascular spaces that were missed by the first rater. And finally, we would like to quantify the overlap between the detections of our methods and other structures that look like perivascular spaces, uh, such as infarcts and white matter hyperintensities. Thank you for your attention. You're welcome to ask questions.